Good afternoon, boys and girls. This is Mr. S. With your chapter 11 review on intelligence. So let's get to it. This is a quick one. This is a 20 question, multiple choice only. Wham, bam, start the new semester. First in the grade book. See if everyone get a good start on this one. 20 questions. We'll probably even have a lecture afterwards, so let's get to it. You have to know about Spearman and the G-factor. Look at the different theories, especially Sternberg. He had the three. I'll give you two, know the third. Please know about different types of intelligence, especially emotional intelligence. Look at the idea of creativity and intelligence, and especially the role of things like intrinsic motivation. Then we looked at the concept of intelligence tests. I'll talk, we'd talk a little bit about uh, Binet, talk a little bit about Terman, the original test, how the IQ test originated here in the U.S. Please know that. Know the difference between mental age and chronological age. Then we're going to look at the ideas of how a test is constructive. Or I should say first, different types of tests. Achievement tests versus standardized tests. Then uh, the idea of how tests are constructed. Um, normal distribution, or I should say the bell curve. Look at the idea of reliability, validity, those kind of issues. Also know the concept, the Flynn effect. The Flynn effect is the idea that there's been a sudden change in uh, tests, scores over the last century, which we really can't say why that reason is. There's a lot of different reasons, social reasons, ethnic reasons, moral reasons, social reasons. The one reason that is probably the least likely is genetic. From there, we're going to look at, look at the idea of levels of um, intelligence, especially the idea of the mentally retarded. And from there, one of the main issues they deal with is adapting to, quote, normal, independent adult life. And that's one of the key factors that is functioning ability. Think about Kim Peek, how he can't carry on, even though he's not mentally retarded. Just the idea of being able to function independently. Um, when we look at the idea of cultural or ethnic diversity within IQ scores, and think about the example of the plants and the seeds and nature versus nurture. If we look at, say, four different cultural groups, or ethnic groups, I should say, white, black, Asian, Hispanic. We could say certain groups as a whole average may score higher than other groups. For example, Asian scores overall in mathematics may be overall average higher than white scores. But if we look within the Asian set of scores, within the black set of scores, within the white set of scores, within the Hispanic set of scores, you will get a normal bell curve distribution of high to low. And the highs from each group will match to the highs of any other group. And so when we talk about averages, that's a different story. And that's just based also from cultural test bias, um, geographical, socioeconomic, all other kinds of bias. So that's it. Uh, 20 questions uh, should be it. Talk to you later.